Hey friends, today I am at the Boardwalk Resort because I am in the mood for some ice cream and I figure I would show you my favorite place to get ice cream, probably in the world, not Disney World, the world. I mean, they even have a Rice Krispie Treat flavor. How do you compete with that? So, let's go do this. And here it is, the Ample Hills Creamery, which is really awesome and it's really good location because even if you're not staying at the boardwalk itself, you can literally just walk here from Epcot and it only takes about three minutes, maybe four minutes, so not too bad. Lots of fun facts about this place. Not only is it located in Disney World, but they do have some in New York, New Jersey, California. It actually originated in New York. The inside of this place is pretty phenomenal too. And because it's located here at the Boardwalk in Disney, it's got a lot of Disney theming to it and I love it. You notice our little friends here, Walt, Witty, and PB, all just hang out at Disney World while they're here. The back wall basically shows their whole entire vacation of going to Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, the Boardwalk, and even Epcot down there. And even if you check out some of the photos, you'll see some photos from their family vacation. Them riding on Dumbo, them at Animal Kingdom. Looks like they're at Star Wars there. Ooh, and down here they're visiting Epcot Center. And look at this, they even have a full scale chocolate headless horseman. Wow, that's really nifty, isn't it? No touching. Oh, oh, they got a hidden Mickey back there. I see it. But let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the flavors of ice cream because there's a lot and they're all very unique and special. So it's gonna be hard for me to decide which ice cream I wanna get. Chocolate milk and cookies. Peanut butter wins the cup. Sweet cream and cookies. Ooey gooey butter cake. Peppermint patty. Baked and unbaked. Strawberries and cream. Vanilla bean. Snap. That's the one I was talking about. That's the Rice Krispie Treat ice cream. How awesome is that? They also have butter pecan brittle, but look at it back there. Wow, that looks good. Oatmeal lace. Ooh. King of mangoes. Gooey gooey butter cake. Sally sells seashells. Very interesting. Orange marshmallow. Ooh. And how about this one? The munchies. Comes with pretzel infused ice cream with mix-ins, pretzels, Ritz crackers, potato chips, M&Ms. That is a lot. Look at those munchies. This one's kind of cool. Sweet as honey. And it's actually sweet cream with house-made honeycombs. And just take a look at it back there. Wow. They actually give you tons of samples, but if you wanted to get a whole bunch of different types of the flavors of ice creams, you can get a flight for $9.99, and you can pick up to six different flavors. That's what I'm probably gonna go about doing. You can also get floats, milkshakes, ice cream cones, the works, you know. Ice cream taco. I'm gonna try a sample of the sweet cream cookie. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Look at that. I'm gonna go with an ice cream flight. We are definitely gonna go with the snap. I kinda of said the snap. Yep, I like the snap. And I need to do like that since Ooh. Probably the munchies. 
You know, it's actually really hard to decide on six different flavors of ice cream that you're about to eat. <laughs> it's like usually you pull up and it's like, you know, one or two, but this makes it a challenging. Butter pecan brittle. Ooh. Peanut butter wins the cup. Two more to go. Sweet as honey. Oh boy, what should I get for my last one? I'm thinking either cotton candy or baked or unbaked. Ah, see, I don't know how I'd feel about Sally Sells She Shells because it's orange marshmallow. Uh. I'm gonna try a sample of the Sally Sells She Shells. Sally Sells She Shells. I don't like the Sally Sells She Shells. I mean, it's not a horrible taste, but I don't know. Something about orange ice cream, it just doesn't mix well. And my last one, baked and unbaked. And when you buy either the flights, a cuppy, or a coney, then you get all of the toppings for free. So they have sprinkles, M&Ms, chocolate chips, a whole bunch of good stuff, whipped cream cherries. I'm gonna go with the classic rainbow sprinkles though. And there it is, there's my flight of ice cream. Ooh. I think the Rice Krispie treat is my favorite. I can't wait to get into it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Snap Rice Krispie Treat ice cream. Oh, I can't even handle it. Is it bad that I should go up and get another cup of it? You only get two scoops with the uh, flight, but I could eat that ice cream all day. Now it's time for some munchies. This is the one that has the Ritz crackers in it and all the other good stuff. It is really good and you can taste the Ritz crackers like a little sweet and salty. That's what I like about it. It's very sweet and salty. I like it a lot. That butter pecan is good though. Lots of good chunks of pecans or pecans. How do you guys say it? Do you say pecan, pecan? Which one is the proper way to do it? I don't think there's any proper way of doing it. I think it's just all how people speak and how they talk and their accents. I say pecan. If you guys feel like this video is being rushed, please know that there is ice cream melting in front of me. So I'm jumping right to the peanut butter. And look at that, oh. Much too good for children. I am very shocked with the honey ice cream. That is like the sleeper of the year because that is delicious. I've never had the honey ice cream when I came here, so that's just me being an adventurous eater. But I gotta tell you, oh, it's good. And last but least, the baked unbaked, which is pretty delicious. You can really taste the soft cookie pieces in it, and that's what I like. I like when the cookies and the mix-ins are soft. And I'm finished. Finished, and I didn't even get ice cream all over my shirt. That's a good deal. But I still have to say, the Snap Rice Krispie Treat flavor is my favorite, followed up by the munchies, and in a shocking twist, the honey. Very cool. And now that I overly satisfied my ice cream craving, we're gonna head back into the boardwalk because I wanna show you guys the cool pumpkin carvings that they're doing. And they're having a contest where you can vote to see which one is the best pumpkin carving, and they are pretty nifty. Just look at this display. Awesome. We got Jack Skellington, Pirates of the Caribbean, Hocus Pocus. Look at this. This is like a full haunted mansion back here. That's crazy. Then we got Madame Leota and Oogie Boogie, BB 8. The Headless Horseman. Ooh, the Villain's Pumpkin. Ooh, 
graveyard scene for the haunted mansion look at the detail but my favorite has to be the pumpkin skyliner how creative is that you guys can actually vote if you wanted to you just text your vote to 407-680-3485 up until october 28th so i'll try to get this out this weekend but number nine pumpkin skyliner i bet you it's the winner so that's gonna do it for me hope you guys had a lot of fun i am full of ice cream and got to check out some nifty pumpkins so local actually live we'll see you next time bye